every time there was something new, right. A new move or whatever. Like I, re- I, I retreated to being more of an isolationist just with my mm-hmm. feeling more protective, mm-hmm. I should say. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. right? Like you don't want to go put yourself out there too much. Cause you're just going to move next year. Uh, yeah, right. right. Mm-hmm. And, yep. and stuff like that. So, you know, there's, there's good sides that come with that as well. And, and it's certainly, increase the bond with those who are closest to me. Yeah. And I think from the very beginning, and this is to those young parents out there that think that, you know, every, every child, right. has to have this sterile, perfect situation that they need to be protected in and be in the house and has to be quiet and they can't go anywhere and can't expose them to anything. Children are resilient from the, from the start. And, and for you going to Florida at such a young age, you know, your mom in junior college, but then going to Florida at a young age and okay, Hey, I'm here and I'm moving that taught you to not be used to chaos, right? But not uh, not being destroyed by it when you did experience it because you were used to change and you were used to things. And parents out there don't feel like you've got to just have everything in the perfect control because it's gr- it's really good for kids to have exposure to different scenarios and, and inconsistent um, just lifestyle changes because it's good it teaches you because like you said later on in life as you're moving it was like okay i've prepared for this i mean you don't get good at doing hard things by doing easy things yeah it doesn't work like that you know Mm -hmm. and so you know it's kind of to go back to michael easter's book right i mean make sure it's hard and don't die and (laughs) your 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 job as a parent i think is make sure that your kids love, know that you love them, mm-hmm. right? Above all, make sure and just tell them, mm-hmm. right? And, oh, and side note to that is when you're wrong, say, I'm sorry. It's perfectly right. acceptable, yes. right? But, you know, your kids need to do hard stuff. You can't protect them from everything, but you have to protect them so they don't literally die. Right. I mean, that's that's the goal. Yeah. And so, you know, it's like you see these these parents on the playground and, you know, like if, if Johnny gets looked at sideways, like they're, they're like going to call the cops Possibly. or something. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. this is just ridiculous, man. Mm-hmm. Your, your kid has to learn some playground rules in life because mm-hmm. life is way worse than what you're going to find on the Absolutely. playground. So yep. you don't get good at doing hard things by doing easy things. Part of that is, look, you need to skin your knee up. You need to get, you know, pushed down every once in a while. Someone needs like too many people. And I, I say this intellectually, not for like clickbait BS. Like, People need to learn what it feels like to get punched in the face. Yes. Yeah. yes. Like metaphorically, <laughs> physically, all of that. You need to know what that feels like. Yeah. And because, you know, I mean, there's like the great philosopher Mike Tyson said that, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. people gotten used to talking too much shit online and not enough people <laughs> getting punched in the face, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, actions have consequences. And just because you can call up your lawyer or call up your mom or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's like, that's just not how the real world or a fulfilling life works. You yeah. have to be able to, to persevere through those hard things. So you, you can't go from doing nothing to climbing Mount Everest. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. And, and confidence and leadership, everything is a tiered scale. You know, you make, you know, you make the varsity team like, man, I'm, I'm awesome. Right. You, mm-hmm. you, you try out, you know, you, you make the, you make the college team, right? You don't play for a couple of years, but you're like, damn, I, I'm biding my time, you know, mm-hmm. same deal with, with the things that we go through in life. And you've just got to, you got to pay your dues. And the more dues you keep paying, the more you're going to get, you're going to feel some, some wounds, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That can either knock you down or, or you can get stronger because of it. But yeah. if you never get hit, like, yeah. you know, what are we even doing? I mean, think about how America was founded. Think about our DNA as people. Think about what the human race had to go through for us to even survive. And it's like, you know, you look at Johnny sideways and you're about to get an affidavit or something from, you know, some lawyer somewhere. It's ridiculous. Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to run to a brick wall. Oh, go ahead. Really, if you don't Jason, say go. anything else for the rest of the show. Let's wrap it. Yeah, if yeah. you don't say hey, anything else for the rest of the show, this is an awesome show. Yeah. Let's call it the Jason McCarthy show. Bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>